Hey everybody, I'm here to talk to you today about installing a stator and uh, the, uh, the rotor as well and the spacing. I have a uh, Ultima El Bruto engine on the bike that I'm making. Building this bike right now and also got a BDL belt drive primary all the guts for that but one of the things I'm learning is you know just the stupid little things that everybody takes for granted you know nobody explains it on the internet so here it is um, you're gonna unpack your stator from the box and what I did was I just found my my wires and the plug and shoved it up in there now some guys say you're gonna need silicon with that but um, make sure your wires are straight and there's a indentation here that your wires will accept and then your stator gets put on right here nice and easy and there's holes here that you're gonna use blue Loctite now before before you even put this whole thing in Ulta, Ultima recommends you to um, to use some RTV silicon so I'm gonna take this out <clears throat> And it is kind of tight, that's for sure. I'm just going to wiggle it on out of there. Take your time with that. And uh, get that out of there. Uh, anyway, I, I could pull that out of there. I'm just trying to loosen it up. So what Ultima recommends you to do is to buy some of this from Walmart, some RTV silicon. And they want you to go around <clears throat> this edge right here, this edge right here, and they want you to go in each spline hole and fill that in with silicon. Now, obviously, they want you to clean it out first, spray it out. I've got some metal filings here. Shouldn't have gotten that in the way anyway, but you want to make sure you don't have any metal filings, etc. But around this part, inside this part, this bearing here apparently spins. And then the other thing, <clears throat> once you get it, once you get your stator back on and assembled, and you know you got your blue Loctite in these bolts, and you torque them down to the proper spec, <clears throat> you're going to want to use a spacer. That spacer right there. <clears throat> and then your stator, sorry, your rotor, your rotor fits on the splines and this spaces it and then from there on you might have to use an additional spacer on the outside here between your pulley and the uh, rotor itself that all depends on how your your uh, pulleys line up to, to one another you may need a spacer you may not depends on what you're you're doing so there it is, very simple. Some guys recommend putting some silicon on this and then there's a set screw right here after you get it out for your regulator to hook up to. Uh, at the, well, the set screw holds the this plug in place. Don't torque that down too much. Just nice and snug, not too much or it'll gouge in there and ruin that. So there you have it, that's it. Thanks. Okay, so here's what it looks like after the silicon sealant is applied. Let me give you a showing there. Notice I have it all around inside the splines in the motor there, and then this whole seal around. That's apparently to help you avoid any kind of leaks. Okay, so here's half the stator on. What I've done is just kind of secured it and I didn't put the blue Loctite on here yet. I'm just kind of, uh, you know, since the silicone is wet and I want to make sure that the stator goes all the way back without, you know, um, having any issue with the silicone itself holding it back. So what I'm going to pre preliminarily do is just put the screws in and nice and evenly go around and uh, uh, put them down. Um, then what I'll do after this, all the silicon dries, 
is um, take them back out and then re, you know, put the Loctite in and then look at the torque specs. I'm not sure what the torque specs are. I don't expect this to be too tight, but I mean, yeah, it's got to be tight, but not like really tremendously screaming tight because uh, the Loctite's going to do its job of holding it in there. But anyway, um, one thing I want you to pay attention to is those two wires down there. See how that is? Nice and straight. They're not crossed and they're not in the way so that when the rotor goes on and um, you're going to put your washer on. Remember, put your washer on. It's going to go here like this. Um, and you're going to put your washer on and uh, then put your rotor on. And basically, the rotor should be spaced enough so that it doesn't run into these wires. Okay, the only way I could tell you to find out whether it is running into the wires is maybe use uh, what we use in the muzzle loading making thing. There's a black stuff that you can put on the inside of here, maybe some grease or whatever on the inside of this and just press it against. See if you get any touch marks of the grease against your wires. And if you do, then you know you're touching. You shouldn't be. You need more space here. But, you know, that's going to all be dependent on how much clearance you have. You, you know, these... Um, Ultima motors have enough clearance between this bearing here when you put the spacer in here. Sometimes I, I don't even know if you even have to use that. It depends on the application. So uh, that's all I can tell you. There's nothing on the internet that says you got to use it. Nothing that says you shouldn't use it in some cases. It just, that's what it is. So hopefully somebody who builds bikes a lot can clarify this for me. Um, this, uh, hopefully this video helps somebody out. Thanks. Bye.